Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel where we bring you the latest and juiciest news in the world of entertainment. To make sure that you don't miss any of our latest videos, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. By doing so, you will be notified whenever we post new content. Today, we're talking about the upcoming movie that's got everyone excited, Dune 2. It's set to release on November 3rd, 2023, and we're here to give you a sneak peek of what's to come. And boy, do we have some interesting tidbits for you. Let's dive in. Months after Dune, part two, officially wrapped principal photography in Abu Dhabi, we've now been treated to a first look at the hotly anticipated follow-up to Denis Villeneuve's Academy award-winning sci-fi magnum opus starring Timothy Chalamet. Dune 2 is the sequel to the 2021 film Dune, which was based on the sci-fi novel by Frank Herbert. The first movie was directed by Denis Villeneuve and starred an ensemble cast, including Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, Oscar Isaac, and Rebecca Ferguson. The director of the film, Denis Villeneuve, has stated that Dune 2 is not simply a sequel to the first film, but a continuation. The second part continues where its predecessor ended, with no issues of a time jump or missing parts. In an interview with Vanity Fair, Villeneuve said, it's important, it's not a sequel, it's a second part. There's a difference. I wanted the movie to really open just where we left the characters. There's no time jump. I wanted dramatic continuity with part one. Sequel is expected to pick up where the first movie left off and continue the story of Paul Atreides. Paul Atreides is a complex and multifaceted character whose intelligence, strength, and determination make him a compelling protagonist in the world of science fiction. Here is the official synopsis. Dune, part two, will explore the mythic journey of Paul Atreides as he unites with Chaney and the Fremen while on a warpath of revenge against the conspirators who destroyed his family. Facing a choice between the love of his life and the fate of the known universe, he endeavors to prevent a terrible future only he can foresee. So, we will see following cast members returning from part one in the part two of Dune. Timothy Chalamet portrays the character of Paul Atreides, while Zendaya takes on the role of Chaney, and Rebecca Ferguson plays Lady Jessica. The movie also features returning actors Javier Bardem as Stilgar, Stellan Skarsgård as Baron Harkonnen, Josh Brolin as Gurney Halleck, Dave Bautista as Count Glossu Rabin Harkonnen, Stephen McKinley Henderson as Thufir Hawat, and Charlotte Ramping as Benny Gesserit, Reverend Mother Mohiam. Director Denis Villeneuve has promised that part two of the film will feature significantly more Zendaya, saying, I had so much fun working with her on part one that I decided to add more days and started to improvise things with her. I think she's really a mesmerizing and a magnetic presence on camera. In the opening scene of the Dune 2 trailer, Paul Atreides teaches Chaney, a young Fremen, how to swim. Chaney is amazed by Paul's account of the home planet Caladan, which is rich in water, unlike the arid deserts of Arrakis, where the Fremen struggle to survive. Paul is determined to fulfill the dreams of Liette Keynes, the former Fremen leader, who confided in him before her death in the first film. Paul plans to collect enough water to transform Arrakis into a garden paradise. The trailer also briefly shows Lady Jessica, Paul's mother, on a Fremen transport with her face adorned with tribal tattoos and blue eyes, a sign of her addiction to the spice. Lady Jessica has fully integrated into the Fremen tribe. Under the watchful eye of Chaney and heeding the advice of Stilgar, Paul places a hammer in the sand, which resonates and attracts sandworms, revered by the Fremen as creators and known as Shay Halud. In the second act, Stilgar becomes Paul's new mentor and guides him to use two cables with harpoons to mount a giant sandworm. The Fremen exult, as Paul successfully completes his initiatory test, officially becoming one of them. The stage is set for the holy war against the Harkonnen and Imperial invaders. The tension continues to build as the situation becomes even more gripping. Chaney shares a tender kiss with Paul Atreides, telling him, you can't lose me. Meanwhile, a fleet of Empire Ornithopters approaches the Fremen stronghold of C.H. Tabor, signaling an impending war. In the trailer, we catch a glimpse of a captive Fremen woman in a cave and see Princess Irulan wearing armor and a face-covering vestment, typical of the Bene Gesserit order. Lady Jessica, now dressed as a Fremen priestess with tattoos and blue eyes, says, we gave them something to hope for. However, Paul angrily retorts, there is no hope, indicating that he has suffered a significant setback. 
May your knife chip and break. In the previous film, Jamie's challenged Paul Atreides to a duel using the Fremen ritual curse. Now, however, Paul speaks like a Fremen and is facing the menacing silhouette of Fade Rautha, the scion of the Harkonnens. The duel takes place in a closed environment. Unlike the desert battlefield seen earlier, waiting men can be seen behind the duelists, raising the question of whether the outcome of the duel will decide the fate of the war. While fans may have been anticipating more surprising revelations in the trailer, it's important to keep in mind that Dune is not accurately represented by what was shown. The trailer only provides a glimpse of what is to come in Dune Part 2, and there is much more to the story than what is depicted on the surface. Some new actors are also joining the cast for Part 2. Emperor Shaddam IV is portrayed by Christopher Walken, the Oscar-winning actor known for his role in The Deer Hunter. Walken plays the ruler of the known universe, who sent House Atreides to Iraqis with the intention of causing their downfall. Princess Irulan Carino is played by Florence Pugh, an Oscar nominee for Little Woman. Pugh portrays the Emperor's eldest daughter and a love interest for Paul. Austin Butler, an Oscar nominee for Elvis, plays the sadistic Harkonnen prince and heir to the family's empire, Fade Rautha Harkonnen. As an antagonist to Chalamet's Paul, the role was previously played by Sting in David Lynch's 1984 adaptation of Dune. Leia Seydoux takes on the role of Lady Margot, a member of the Bene Gesserit, whose loyalties are tested as she finds herself living amongst the royal families. Sohaila Yacoub, the Swiss actress who gained recognition for her breakout role in Gaspar Noé's Climax, plays Shisha Klee, a Fremen squad leader who assists Paul and learning to ride the sandworms in the book. The cast of Dune 2 reportedly went through some intense training and filming, leaving some of them physically and emotionally drained. Timothy Chalamet, who plays the lead role of Paul Atreides, revealed in an interview that he underwent rigorous physical training and a strict diet to prepare for the role. Similarly, Zendaya had to train extensively in martial arts and horse riding. It's safe to say that these actors put their blood, sweat, and tears into the roles. If you like practical effects and real-world locations, then you're going to love Dune, part two. At 2023 CinemaCon, Timothy Chalamet spoke about the look of the film, assuring everyone that a sequence involving Paul Atreides riding a massive sandworm was actually done with real effects. We absolutely cannot wait to see what a practical sandworm looks like. And honestly, we're now just as excited to watch the behind the scenes footage as we are with the movie. A pivotal moment in the recently released Dune 2 footage is the shot of Paul Atreides riding a sandworm. While these massive and dangerous creatures were primarily presented as threats to those on Iraqis in the first movie, the 2021 film concluded with a hint that the Fremen also ride the beast. The new footage confirms that Paul will indeed ride a sandworm in Dune 2 as part of his initiation into the Fremen culture. In the book, Paul's ability to ride a sandworm signifies his readiness to take on a leadership role for the Fremen in the sequel. Zendaya says, Awkward and uncomfortable. There's all those things. But her hard-fighting desert survivor, a woman who is a literal little dream woman to Chalamet's character, seemed almost too competent. The budding romance between Paul and Chaney is a significant highlight in the newly released Dune 2 trailer as his development plays a crucial role in this story. The trailer opens with Paul and Chaney bonding on Iraqis as he attempts to describe his home planet, Kaladin, and their swim. Their growing intimacy signifies the progression of the relationship. However, the Dune 2 trailer goes further by depicting Chalamet and Zendaya kissing, indicating a significant step forward in their love story. Despite the grueling nature of the shoot, the cast of Dune 2 seem to have a lot of fun on the set. In an interview with Vanity Fair, Chalamet and Zadea talked about their on-set shenanigans, including prank wars and dance parties. It's clear that they formed a tight bond while filming. Denis Villeneuve made a big reveal at CinemaCon 2023, confirming that the entirety of Dune 2 was shot in IMAX, a significant upgrade from the 40% of the first movie that utilized the larger aspect ratio. The first film used IMAX to enhance its most prominent scenes, like the sandworm chase, making them look even more massive. Given that Dune 2 features giant armies and sandworms engaged in a massive war, Villeneuve's decision to shoot the sequel entirely in IMAX is a logical progression. During the red carpet event for Bones and All, 
Chalamet was asked about his experience revisiting old works and he specifically commented on revisiting Dune, part two. It's fascinating. It's something you don't get to do with movies. Revisit, the actor said. To achieve that feeling, the filmmakers frequently shot during the magic hour, the brief period when the sun is setting and the world is enveloped in a golden light. The movie was filmed in remote desert locations in Abu Dhabi and Jordan. So there was often a sense of urgency to capture the romantic scenes between Zendaya and Chalamet quickly. Florence Pugh, the fast rising star known for her roles in Black Widow and Midsommar, recently shared insights about her role in the highly anticipated Dune Part 2 in an interview with Vanity Fair. Pugh talked about her experience working on the sequel to the sci-fi epic, which boasts a cast of some of the biggest young talents in Hollywood. Denis Villeneuve's first Dune film was released in October last year, both in theaters and on HBO Max, and was widely acclaimed by critics. The movie grossed $108 million at the US box office and $401 million worldwide, and received 10 Oscar nominations, including Best Picture. The film won several Academy Awards, including score, sound, editing, cinematography, production design, and visual effects. For part two, all of Villeneuve's Oscar-winning production team will be returning. According to reports, Dune 2 has a budget of around 200 million, which is more than the budget of the first movie. This is a huge investment for the studio, but it's clear that they have high hopes for the sequel. With such a large budget, fans are expecting nothing less than an epic cinematic experience. Part 2 does not have to contend with the loss of theatrical earnings due to home streaming, piracy, or pandemic-related restrictions. As a result, it has the potential to surpass the total earnings of the first Dune film, which grossed 402 million. This success could also fulfill director Villeneuve's desire to adapt the Dune Messiah novel into a film. Only time will tell whether Dune 2 will live up to the expectations and justify its hefty budget. However, Based on the success of the first movie in the star-studded cast, it's safe to say that fans are eagerly awaiting the release. The trailer for the movie has already generated a lot of buzz, and we can't wait to see what the finished product will look like. Dune was first released on the streaming service HBO Max on October 21st, 2021, one day before its theatrical release. However, Dune Part 2 will not follow the same path as its predecessor. Instead. The second film will have an exclusive theatrical release and will not be available to stream right away. While it is unclear when the film will become available for streaming, typically there is a 30 to 45 day gap between a movie's theatrical run and its release on streaming platforms. Basically, if you wish to view Dune Part 2 online, you will have to wait. But when will it be available in theaters? Originally slated for release on October 20th, 2023, the science fiction sequel was pushed back to November 17th, which coincides with the release of The Hunger Games, Ballads of Songbirds and Snakes. Warner Bros. may have recognized the folly of having two major sci-fi films vying for the same box office, resulting in the move, Dune, Part 2, to November 3rd, making it a fantastic way to begin the month. Fans of the film are eager to see where the sequel continues the story from its predecessor, which ended on a cliffhanger. Will there be a Dune? Part 3? Frank Herbert was a prolific writer, having authored six complete Dune novels during his lifetime, with additional works published posthumously. With such a large body of work, there is a wealth of material that could potentially be adapted, particularly since Denis Villeneuve's two Dune films are based solely on the first novel. It appears that Villeneuve and screenwriter John Spates are considering adapting Herbert's second Dune novel to round out a Paul Atreides trilogy. During an interview with Screen Rant in 2021, Denis Villeneuve disclosed his plans for a potential third film, stating, What I can say is that my dream, the adaptation of two books, Dune and Dune Messiah, would have decided to split the first novel in two, so now we are at three movies. Those movies are very long to make. For my mental sanity, I decided to just dream about three movies. And that's all for today's video. We hope you enjoy our sneak peek of Dune 2. Let us know in the comments what you're most excited about for the upcoming movie. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on all things entertainment. Until next time, see you later!